All right, so we got Delta Force Hawk Ops Early Access Trailer. It's good to be on. All right. Best believe we got a lot of uh, Black Myth Wukong for you guys tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh oh, the conflict between the Alsara Guard and Havoc threatens the balance of the world. Okay. The Alsara Guard is a tempest of disorder, sowing chaos wherever it roams. But we, our homes strike at their very core. Oh! Havoc has cutting edge technology. But is built on exploitation and suffering. Uh oh. Uh -oh. United, we will plunge into the chaos. Oh snap. To find hey, that that shield right there is actually pretty nice. We Ooh. are GTI. No one gets left behind. Cap. Cap. I can't lie to you. Listen, if I gotta win and my teammates is down, <laughs> I'm not picking him up. Stream next fest, October. Whoa, whoa. October. What what? Whoa, 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 Give me one second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Give me one second. Uh, Steam Next Fest, October 2024. Now, let me let me introduce you guys on the time. First of all, bro, we're so close to 2025, bro. Make sure you guys go absolutely hard at what you're doing, bro. Uh, because, listen, we're so close to the end of the year, bro. Finish the year absolutely strong because we got about, what, five months? Let me see, October, uh, September, uh, September, October, November. Uh, bro, we got four months. We got four months, bro. Listen, lock in. We got four months, bro. You should be giving your best every single day for the for the next four months, bro. That's a lot of time. Make sure you guys lock in. Now, we got some Delta Force um, Hawk Ops. Now, to be honest with you, bro, I said this before and I'll say it again, bro. This game, in my in my opinion, this game could be up there, bro, and it like on like a campaign level. I don't want I don't want people compare. I mean, well, people are going to compare anything and everything nowadays. Let's be honest with you. Me personally, I'm not going to compare this game to like Call of Duty or X Define or none of that because I feel like that ruins the momentum of an FPS game, especially nowadays. We all know Call of Duty is the head honcho. Call of Duty is the number one FPS game, FPS like uh like mission type of game, like army type of game. That's number one. I don't I don't want to hear people come through and oh well it's actually no bro no Call of Duty is is it's it's been number one. It's up there no matter how much you hate it or whatever. Um, there's been times where like, you know, I just had to step away from Call of Duty, you know, just because like, I was like, you know, what, I'm not really feeling this game and I've came back, you know, I've been playing this game for, bro, I've been playing Call of Duty, bro, since I was a kid, bro, which is crazy, like, bro, 10 plus years since I was a baby, bro, like, I mean, well, even though the game, it, you know, it does say it's infamature, blame me, mean, bro, you know, who listens to those anyway, but yeah, but honestly though, like, it's like, I would never like not love like Call of Duty, yes, Call of Duty stresses me out. And sometimes I do hate it. I admit that, but that's every single Call of Duty player, though. Every, listen, every single Call of Duty player has like that, that, like that relationship with Delta Force. You love and you hate the game. It, it, listen, oh, I said, bro, with Delta Force. Oh my God, every player, <laughs> every Call of Duty player, uh, has that relationship with Call of Duty. You love and you hate this game, bro. Sometimes you just want to pull your hair out. Sometimes you just want to just punch a wall or whatever. But at the same time, though, it feels good to win. It feels sometimes, bro, it feels good to just have a, a good time with your friends or whatever on the game, whether you win or lose. So at the end of the day, bro, Call of Duty will always be like, you know, bro, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but, you know, Call of Duty will always be a part of my life somehow, some way. Um, but this game right here, I have a feeling that it can actually stand out. Uh, only if it focuses on them, you know, with their mechanics, with how they do things. I'm not saying that they can't, you know, take inspiration. Um, I'm not saying they can't, you know, uh, use what, use what other FPSs has or, you know, use what Call of Duty has, um, you know, legally and stuff like that. I'm not saying they can't do that, but, um, as long as they focus on them, as long as, um, they don't try to be the next Call of Duty killer, I feel like X Defiant, that, that was like, I mean, and I feel like that wasn't even, I feel like the fans put that on them. Th I, that's the thing. I feel like the fans put that whole, oh, Call of Duty killer thing on X Defiant. 
And then when people play the game, they're like, nah, this isn't killing Call of Duty, you know? So at the end of the day, you know, I just hope Delta Force is, you know, they just, listen, they stay in their lane. I can actually see Delta Force becoming like the new, okay, I don't, okay. I was just about to do it. I was literally just about to do what I said not to do. I was, I was I, okay, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'll admit it. I'm, I'll, I'll say it. I was literally about to say, I have a feeling that Delta Force might become like the new, like, like modern day, like Battlefield. 